I know some of the things I saw were absolutely the most shocking things in my life. You know, when the scripture just talks about the world apart from God, it's like, wow, this is what it would look like. We gotta understand there's consequences to us wondering what the next step is. People are dying every day, and we've gotta get more urgent about this. My natural inclination is I need to stay here and fix everything. And then you realize I'm of more worth to them back in the States than I am over there. So I start thinking, okay, what has God uniquely gifted me with? And I have relationships with very capable people. We put together this volunteer team that came together and said, you know, I love the vision. I love what you guys are trying to do. There were a couple of people that I had in mind that I knew were already excited about kind of this space and about using our skills for the glory of God. My dad probably lived in a situation that looked just like this, uh, so it's, it's closer to home. Coming here and seeing it in person is really another thing. I thought I could just kind of ignore this, but this is real. Like, I really thank God for bringing me out of my safe, comfortable, me-centered environment. I want to experience God everywhere I go. And that doesn't happen by just getting to the right place. It's by really asking Him in faith and saying, God, I want to experience you like never before. Best thing we can do is to go home and work harder at what we do well, all to help the people here.